Hey everyone, this is supposed to be yesterday's night video, but then I have like uh, compiled the other one already, so this is gonna be like combined into another um, the, the next day one. It's 10 45 right now, and because I have to tutor tomorrow and on Sunday. So I have to prepare the materials for the girl. Um, she is secondary one. So I tutor her English and right now we're working on newspaper discussion. So I go online, I search whatever newspaper that I would find, would think that it's acceptable for her and there would be something to discuss. Yep, and if you haven't paying attention to the news, it's pretty... No, I wouldn't say it's pretty popular. It's pretty... It's a pretty big thing that China is having the bombing uh, series. No, sorry, do quite series. They're just a series of bombing in, in China. And uh, this is... A, I think it's a pretty good way to discuss. A pretty good discussion that we can have. Mm about security problem, about social problems, um, about the people, the government, and all that. So you see, I do it um, uh, because the newspaper version online would come with photos, and I don't print photos. So I copy and paste into Microsoft Word, and I print it out for her, and tomorrow we're gonna discuss it. And her tutoring time, it's one and a half hour. So I'll be talking for one and a half hour. She doesn't talk much. That's the problem. Her mom really wants her to talk, but then I would ask her a question and she would give me one word answer or something like that. If you, uh, if you are a teacher, you're watching this, or if you have experiencing tutor, tutoring students, let me know how do you encourage them to talk more. Because I do ask her a question and all that, and she just doesn't like to talk in English. She is used to talking in Cantonese, but I talk to her in English. And somehow, along the way, when I first started teaching her in English, I have also gotten used to talking to her in Cantonese. So, but it's not hard for me to speak in English all the time, it's just whether she will respond or not. So, anyway, I have already printed it out. Tomorrow I'm going to tutor, and I'm drinking my tea. Pretty much that's it. I'm going to do some more of my law readings before I sleep. Um, I have my soya bean milk drink, soya milk drink before, earlier. Yep, if you follow me on Instagram, you would know that I I did post a photo like quite a while ago <laughs> of the soy milk so I try to do it every night because you see eating this order basically depletes you of all the nutrients especially because I binge purge which is really bad so basically my body doesn't retain any of the nutrients so I try to get some acceptable food in me soy milk is like high in calcium and all that i buy the fortified one which is uh, better in calcium and the nutrients anyway that's all for tonight and i hope i can see you i hope i can take tomorrow see you <laughs> he is so excited to be down no, no, no. <laughs> oh my god. What are you trying to do? Huh? Look at you. Playing? Playing? <laughs> That's been a long time since we brought him down. There's a naughty boy trying to run everywhere he wants to go to the corner. Come here! No! It's so dark! See? That's my estate. 
Now, can you come here? Wee, let's go. Where are you going? It's so dark. It's so dark. Here looks down and then you can see them more. Oh, he's everywhere. Where do you want to go? Why are you standing there? Do you want to walk? It's 11 plus at night. So it's pretty dark around here. He never used to be this way. You want to come? Hmm? Why are you standing there? No. Come here. Why do you not want to go in front? Where do you want to go? Why are you staying here? Now he has resorted to sitting down on the floor and refusing to move. You're in such a bad shape. You haven't been running for so long or walking. All he does is stay at home, eat and sleep. So, why are we gonna walk? Can we walk home? Do you still have the energy to walk home? Hmm? <laughs> are you gonna stay here all night? Huh? We need to go home, right? We need to go home. Come on. Are you gonna walk? Can you walk? Come on, let's go. Finally, he's walking home after resting for a while. Come on, we are gonna go home. No peelers. He just likes to like pee on the side, which is a really bad habit. So I try not to let him get close to the peelers and pee. And we are gonna go home now. Hi everyone, it's um, 3 plus in the afternoon. I'm supposed to go out this morning to tutor. But the mom just, um, the mom told me this morning that she, her daughter needs to go to school. So I will be going out soon because it has been postponed to this afternoon. And again today it's a rainy day. Let's see. If you can see downstairs, it's a rainy day, um, and it's like um, the typhoon is coming. Actually, that's what they say on the news. The weather forecast said a typhoon is coming. Uh, Hong Kong has typhoon. If you don't know, um, it means that it's stormy weather. It's rainy and it it's very windy. So that's that's what it is. And I have been in sort of a really weird mo mood. Like I don't really know what I'm doing. And I want to do something but I don't exactly want to do it. I'm not sure if it's because of the medication increase because I was mean I was like hypomane yet. I was having hypomania, so um, she added Aplin to my list of medication. It's the purple color pill, yeah, and it's only 200 mg, which is really low. She wanted to add olanzapine, but I don't like olanzapine. It makes me gain weight like crazy. So I res so she su suggested um, several others. And apparently some of them I have tried before, it doesn't work, like Turbo Max, it doesn't work for me even when it's in high dosage. Like I literally feel nothing, I mean I feel nothing, none of the effects are from the medication. So I added Aplin, it makes me, it calms me down a little but sometimes I just, especially today it's sort of like the restless feeling. 
a little bit restless. I don't really know what I'm doing. Actually, at first I, uh, I said that I, I'm, the afternoon it's not really convenient for me to tutor, so I rejected it. And because since I'm gonna see her tomorrow anyway, so then I said that, um, it's not very convenient. But then afterwards, I changed my mind because I I feel like I'm doing nothing and I want to do something. So that's the sort of mood I'm in. Yeah. I keep changing my mind and I have nothing to do but I want to do something and when I really have something to do I don't really want to do it. Do you ever experience that? If you're suffering from like, I don't know, I'm not sure if it's just limited to bipolar or for the line or I don't think it includes an eating disorder part. But if it ever occurs to you, let me let me know in a comment down below. Down below, um, because I do want to know if other people experience that sort of feelings. It's just a bit of restlessness, but not very restless. But then also, I don't know what I'm doing, and I want to do something, and I don't know what I'm doing. And what am I saying now? Anyway, um, I have to go and tutor, and then I'm gonna come back home, and it will be dinner time. So I'll check back in later. See you. This is what it means by a typhoon. Look at the sky and all the trees. Oh my god, it's so windy. It's very windy everywhere and it's gonna rain soon again. I think it's a really really big rain, I mean heavy rain. So anyway, I'm gonna take a bus to Tudor. So I came back home and I was drenched. It was raining so heavily outside. I was at a bus stop waiting and it's the open kind of bus, um, open air bus stop where they only have a shelter on top and there was this puddle of water right in front of me and then suddenly a car speed, speed past the water and it splashed all over my lower half of my body and it was I was dripping and my shoe was wet and everything was wet my bed was wet yeah everything was wet anyway I have to wait in the semi rain because the shelter wasn't really like covering it it's just like this so I was standing under it and the rain and the wind was like blowing so basically it doesn't work the shelter didn't work um, I waited and then I got onto the bus and then I came home yep and I changed my shoe was like really dry, uh, it's, totally, it's totally wet, but anyway, um, tonight we, wait, tonight we are eating some sort of Chinese stuff, which I don't know what's called in English, but I'll show you guys later, but I bought this, I love this thing, um, it was $10 for two bots, so I bought like four. I love it because it's chocolate on top and the biscuits at the bottom. Anyway, I'll show you guys the dinner later. This is what we are having for dinner. That one is supposed to go into that wrap, which I don't know what's it called in Chinese, in English. And it's soup. I need my mom to wrap it up. Basically, it's the rice and the pot floors and this one in between, and you wrap them up together. Do you have your belt on? Huh? They have just brought it in, right? This is how much it is. It's just a little bit. It's too heavy. Too heavy. Because it's dried. Is it? 
四份豬，四份豬米，兩份糯米，所以咪唔黐。我唔想整咁多糯米，跟住仔。冇糯米同埋屋企。So you lay the rice at the bottom, and then you add this. Oh, bad focusing. Slight mustard, top tuber. I don't know. Um, it's some fermented like pickled stuff. Um, ah, it's like some fermented vegetable. This is a shine high kind of thing. And you put the pot for us. Oh, why is it so blurry? Yep, and you wrap it up. Basically, there you have it with all the stuff, and it's a type of Chinese thing you can try at home. Um, I forgot to tell you, this is fried bread dough. People usually eat it with porridge. Anyway, this is an extra dish that came out later. Well. You know, this one has winter melon and pork ribs, I think, bone, I don't know, and body. That's what it is. This is winter melon, this is barley, and this is the pork rib. And that's just something extra. Hey everyone, it's at night already, so I have bathed and oh, I love my colorful, my colorful soft toy. It's so colorful. Anyway, um, I gotta close the vlog today, and I just thought that you guys may be interested in like when I say I take my medication, what does it mean? Like what medication I'm taking? So there it is. Oh, I don't look at this. This one, this is Seroquel. Um, the proper name is Kutapin. This one is Clonazepam. 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 Yeah, Clonazepam. This is Aflin 200 mg. And I have another one which is uh, Olan. Uh, that one is 5 mg. 5 mg. And later I'm gonna like take another sleeping pill which I'm not gonna take so early uh, I have to take it before bed so that it would work properly it doesn't when I take it too early so so then wait is there anything else no there isn't anything else I do have anti-anxiety mat uh, but it's PRN which means I take it when I need it so I don't need it at night unless I really really cannot sleep or in a day when I get really panicky and anxious which I haven't been getting that way uh, lately because I am rather hyper so I hope this video didn't bore you um, I do realize that I don't have much things to say I'm sorry that during the dinner time I don't it, there, there are quite a number quite a period of silence footage where I didn't say anything firstly it's because I don't know what's it called in English uh, the first dish that you see which is brown color it's braised pork something I don't know what it is pork ribs some of them is ribs uh, some of them the the other one it's not so I don't know what's it called and also the rice wrapping thing I also don't know what's it called so I'm sorry that I didn't say anything and also because like my mood changes so sometimes I wouldn't feel like filming so I'm really sorry if I can't do a daily vlog because when I don't feel like filming um, I do try to find interesting things to film 
if possible, there are interesting things in the number of days. Probably I'm thinking of combining them together into like uh, a days in live vlog. And now you realize that on my channel, I do put like a bracket for whatever ta types of uh, video that is. So it'll be easier for you to, if you want to look at a certain type, like if you just, if you're just interested, interested in like discussion where I talk about something, um, then you can just look at those. If you're interested in my life, you can look at the day in life vlog. So that's all for today. I hope you like this video. Uh, subscribe if you're interested. So I will see you guys soon. And I'm gonna make the uh, my ED story video soon. So see you, bye.